Member associations of Canada, Mexico and USA have been selected by the FIFA Congress to host the 2026 FIFA World Cup. Thank you. The 2026 FIFA World Cup will be coming here to the United States, but also Mexico and Canada. That's right, North America, three different countries, 16 different cities, and specifically 16 different stadiums. And my goal is to visit every single one of those 16 stadiums before the 2026 FIFA World Cup arrives. And I know that does kind of sound like a lot, right? Three countries, 16 cities, 16 different stadiums, but you just have to start somewhere. And today we are starting here in Houston, Texas, and we will be going to NRG Stadium. Now just imagine guys, watching a World Cup match from this spot. Show them, let's see. It is currently 5 p.m. here in Houston, Texas, and I have now exactly 24 hours to be inside NRG Stadium. Here we go. And the reason why I'm giving myself that little bit window of time and not just going there right now is because I want to show you guys more than just the stadium in each city. I actually want to show you other aspects of the city that are contributing to its growing soccer culture. That's why today here in Houston, Texas, I want to take you guys to three different places. The first one is a place where you can watch soccer on the TV with some food, with the drink, maybe with some friends. We can't all go inside the stadium. So maybe if you're here, you want to watch it. This is the place where you can go. Number two is a place where you can play some soccer with some friends, maybe even some strangers. We all love a game of footy. So that's place number two where you can play some soccer. And the third one is obviously the main idea of this video, the World Cup Stadium that will be hosting World Cup matches when you guys do come here to Houston, Texas. That is the third place we will be going to. And we're gonna just do it all within 24 hours and make it a little challenging because why not? And if we complete this mission in 24 hours, I will reveal to you guys what is inside this golden envelope. What is inside this golden envelope explains why this stadium that we are going to, NRG Stadium, is so special to me. It is probably the most important, most special stadium I have ever been to, ever will be to, probably and what's inside this envelope explains exactly why. And like I said, if we get there to our end goal within the next 24 hours, I will reveal to you guys what is inside this envelope. But for now, I'm getting tired, I'm getting hungry. Let's get something to eat. All right guys, so we have made our way here to stop number one of three that we'll be going to in this video. This is the spot where you can watch some soccer on the TV with some food, with some friends, maybe a little something to drink. And I was thinking about it. Where do I wanna take the people? What's the spot I wanna show them? When they don't have a ticket to go in the stadium, where can they watch some soccer here in Houston? And I knew I had to come here to Pitch 25 Beer Park here in Houston. Texas guys I was here during the 2022 FIFA World Cup during the US men's national team matches and let me tell you I'm not saying it's like being inside the stadium but the atmosphere and energy that was in this place here was pretty darn close it was super fun the energy the atmosphere the whole environment was amazing and part of what made it so amazing guys was wherever I was here in this place I could watch the game they have TVs everywhere I look there's a TV there behind me there's a TV there there's a TV there there's like six TVs in front of me guys there are TVs everywhere and when there's a big soccer match you know they are going to be showing it so you can come watch it here and while you're watching you can enjoy some pretty good food and drinks too. When you just look around, when you're here, you see the decorations, you see what is behind me, you realize that at the heart of Pitch 25 is soccer. Because when I look on the walls, they have soccer ball decorations. When you think about who the co-founder is, it is actually MLS and Houston Dynamo legend, Brian Ching. And if that's not convincing enough, like I showed earlier, if you can tell, there is literally a soccer pitch behind me, guys. And I don't know, I haven't been to every place here in Houston, but I would say it's rare to find a place like this that really shows a love and a dedication to the sport of soccer. Now, of course, they show other sports too, like every place does, but you can bet when there's a big soccer match, this is the place you want to be. All right, guys, so we're finishing up our food. We're pretty much done here at Pitch 25. I feel like I've showed you guys a lot, or at least most of what this place is about as briefly as I could. But before we leave, we must complete 
the challenge. Now, one thing I didn't mention earlier in this video is that at every single one of the stops that we're going to be making, there is a challenge that I want to complete in order to consider each stop a success. The challenge here today is going to be on this machine here. I tried it earlier. This is the one where you kick it and try and get a high score. I was trying to break the record of, what was it, 960? I didn't even reach 700, guys. So I have two tries with my last $2 to try and at least get to 900. That's the mission. Before we can leave here, let's try and do it. Let's see how it goes. 900, let's go. My hardest. Come on, let's see. What the heck? This thing's rigged. 746, the score is 964. I need to get to 900. So I need a lot more, my last dollar, okay. I'm putting this down too. We're about three hours into the challenge, 21 hours to go, and maybe soon you guys will be able to see what's in that envelope. But for now, let's go play some soccer. All right, we're here, Main Street Indoor Soccer. We're about to play the pickup game. The mission here is to score a goal in this pickup game. Shout out to Play App. More about them later. I'm about to play this game. We have to score. Let's go. All right, so here's the deal. We wanted to come here. This is Main Street Indoor Soccer, and if you cannot tell, we have been going at it already. I was running a little late, so I hopped right in the game. I'm out of breath. I'm sweating hard, repping the PlayApp shirt. Shout out to PlayApp, because they're the reason why I'm here right now. If you guys don't know, PlayApp is like the Uber of pickup games. They gave me a list of all the different pickup games that were going on tonight at this time when I wanted to play. This is the one I chose. Main Street Indoor Soccer. Great workout if you can't tell. I'm sweating, I'm breathing hard. Shout out to Play App for setting this all up, for making it easy for me. You guys should definitely check out Play App. The best way to find pickup games near you. The best app, go check it out. I think this is a big part of soccer culture, not just in Houston, but in all of America that needs to grow. Pick up soccer culture when you compare it to here in America as opposed to other places around the world. It is small, but places like this, Main Street Soccer, are making it more accessible, more possible. So shout out to them. I'm having a lot of fun tonight. This is step two, spot two. Mission number two was to score a goal, and hopefully we can run the video because I did that stuff. Shout out to Main Street Indoor Soccer. Shout out to Pick Up Soccer in general. Hopefully it grows more here in America. We are about five hours into our challenge. Go home, get some rest, because tomorrow we have a big day. We are finally going to NRG Stadium, the stadium that will be hosting several World Cup matches in 2026. We're gonna finish up playing some Pick Up Soccer here, and tomorrow we head to NRG Stadium. Once again, shout out to Play App. If you guys download the app, and you put in your address if they're located in your area and they have some games in your area, you'll be able to see it, go through the list, pick your game, make your account, meet some new people, play app. Thanks for making this happen. Thanks for the jersey. Shout out to you guys. We're gonna go enjoy, play the rest of these games. Shout out to Main Street Indoor Soccer. Pick up soccer. It's growing. Let's go. All right, guys, so we are here. This is the third and final stop 
of this video. We went to the first two. This is the third one. Obviously, the one that we are all here for is the World Cup Stadium, NRG Stadium. We are currently here in the parking lot. It is 4.35 p.m. the next day from everything else you guys were just watching. The event that we're actually going to that's going to allow us to get inside NRG Stadium, well, they do not open their doors until 4.30. So we got here just in time. Now we have 25 minutes to rush down, wait in the line, get inside, and find our way to be able to complete the last challenge that we set out to do here at Energy Stadium. That challenge is to get to the half line area. Now it's not a soccer match that we're at today, so there won't be an actual half line, but we all know where the best spot is to sit when you are watching a soccer match in a stadium. It's around that halfway line. Our seats are not at the half line, but if we can find our way to get to that spot, that is what I would consider a success for this final challenge. We now have 24 minutes to do it, so let's get going. Now just imagine guys, watching a World Cup match from this spot. Show them, let's see. Right here at the center. It is currently 4.54 p.m. We are here inside NRG Stadium, right at exactly where Half Line would be. Mission accomplished. Let's go. Now soon we're gonna have to go up to our actual seats, but I'm glad we were able to get here to the half line and complete that challenge, complete this entire mission within 24 hours. So does that mean we now have to reveal what is inside the secret golden envelope? Well, we will very soon. But first, some quick facts about NRG Stadium. All right, some quick facts about NRG Stadium. Let's see what we got here. It has a capacity of 72,220. 72,000 people can be inside this building. It was built in 2002 at a cost of around 350 to 450 million dollars. And it was the first NFL stadium built with a retractable roof. Also real quick guys, if you kind of tell, we are not at a soccer match or anything like that. The only event that they had today that would allow us to get inside the stadium was a monster show, which I'm sure is great, but we're not really fans of monster trucks. So we didn't mean to come here. It was the only way we could get inside though. And it did cost a bit of money. So if you appreciate that and you appreciate the effort to get inside NRG Stadium today, I would appreciate if you like this video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much. It has already been announced, so it is official that this stadium NRG will host seven World Cup matches come 2026. It'll be five group stage matches, one round of 32 match, and one round of 16 match. So in 2026, it'll be home to seven World Cup matches, but usually throughout the year, it is home to NFL team, the Houston Texans. And another pretty big event that actually happens here in this stadium is the Houston Rodeo. Now on top of that, NRG does host many events and concerts and stuff like that, but focusing on soccer, they've actually hosted a lot of big soccer matches too, like international matches, mostly CONCACAF Gold Cup type stuff, but also some big preseason friendlies between big European clubs. They come here during the summer and play here for the fans here in Houston. But maybe most notably, a match in recent memory that took place here was during the 2016 Copa America Centenario between USA and Argentina, where Lionel Messi actually became the all-time top goal scorer for Argentina with a beautiful free kick. It's unfortunate that he beat USA, but nonetheless, for NRG Stadium, a pretty historic moment. And of course, we cannot forget to mention probably the biggest soccer event happening here in the Americas this summer. In 2024, Copa America matches will be hosted here at NRG Stadium, partially, right, across the US, but some will be here in NRG. Good warm-up for the 2026 World Cup. And I believe Mexico is actually playing their opening match in the Copa America here in NRG this summer. Speaking of soccer matches, guys, I do think it's finally time to reveal what I've been hiding this entire video. What is inside the secret golden envelope? What is it about NRG Stadium that is so special to me? Roll the clip.
That photo was taken when I was just 15 years old, guys. It was here inside NRG Stadium when I came here to watch my very first professional club football match. And it wasn't just any match. It was a match between my beloved Manchester United and their rivals, Manchester City. Even though that match was just a friendly match, it wasn't anything big on the line, it felt like something so special to me because like I said, it was my first time watching my favorite club, Manchester United. It was my first time watching any professional match of any sort. So that day was one of the happiest and most memorable days of my entire life. Truly a dream come true. And that dream of mine getting to see Manchester United happened and came true inside here, inside NRG Stadium. And I'd like to think that maybe if you're watching this video and all the other videos that we're gonna do in the future about all the World Cup stadiums, maybe you're seeing that your nation is gonna be playing here or in another stadium and you come across this video and you're debating and you're planning and you're thinking, should I go, should I spend the money, should I buy the ticket? Maybe watching this video will encourage you to, yeah, come here to Houston, come watch your nation play in the 2026 World Cup. Or maybe it's another stadium or another city that we're gonna go to. And maybe these videos will encourage you to do so. And maybe just like my dream came true here in NRG Stadium, your guys' dreams will come true in 2026 in one of these World Cup stadiums. But of course, this is just the first of many stadiums that we still have to go to. So I guess my question to you guys now is, where should we go next? Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and like the video. My name is JT Duane, you're watching Super Sub Soccer. Have a good one. Running around, I'm trying to keep up, I'm out of shape.